proud Republican has been sworn in as Victoria's 30th Governor. Leading Melbourne academic Margaret Gardner has pledged allegiance to the King at a ceremony at State Parliament. A red carpet led 300 guests and dignitaries to the ceremony, including premiers past and present, jurists and family, ending with a regal salute. And a welcome to country. Margaret Gardner taking her place in the vice-regal chair as a Republican, pledging allegiance to the monarchy. I, Margaret Elaine Gardner, do solemnly and sincerely affirm that I will well and truly serve His Majesty King Charles III and His Majesty's heirs and successors in the office of Governor of the State of Victoria. The allegiance no issue for Victoria's 30th Governor. Distinguished guests, Her Excellency the Governor has now assumed office. Her Excellency Gardner has publicly acknowledged her personal views, insisting they have no bearing on her new role. And you can be sure that I will be following all the appropriate protocols and all the things required constitutionally in order to, to, um, to fulfil that role appropriately. Though the 69-year-old and wife of Federal Department of Prime Minister and Cabinet Secretary Glyn Davis wants her office to put a greater emphasis on First Nations culture. And I believe the role of Governor can play a part in this engagement within the constitutional fabric of this state. Offering no opinion on the upcoming Federal Voice to Parliament referendum, Margaret Gardner also previously has said Indigenous sovereignty was never ceded. They also have a voice that needs to be heard. The new Vice Regal has pledged to build on her predecessor Linda Desso's emphasis on opening Government House to the people. And as Margaret Gardner prepares to make this place her home, she admits it's a surreal feeling. Like everybody else, there's that point at which you're standing outside yourself and saying, is this really me? But asked if the Honourable Desso should be considered for the Governor Generalship, when David Hurley's term ends next year... I'm absolutely certain that she will find ways to contribute to our community. Simon Love, Sky News, Melbourne.